Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike here and we are back with some more Empires of the Undergrowth and we've still got our colony that we're doing all the levels with in on Insane. Oh, struggling with the words. Uh, so we just beat Rising Tide, uh, didn't really do much, I expanded the food store, so now we can hold tons and tons of food, which isn't going to matter in a minute because I'm going to upgrade these boys to level 3, spend all of our delicious jellies that we work so hard to collect. Uh, we don't have enough for anything good, do we? Royal Guard, nah, uh, Royal Guard are pretty good. I uh, don't want to get anything there yet, defensive or evasive. Yeah, self-repair would be good too, you know, lots of good things. But, probably going to want to look at upgrading them, to be honest. Max level mortars are just... They're just dumb, really. Right, let's get them to level 3, uh, level 2. And then we're going to have enough to get them all to level 3. Get a good chunk to level 3, though, I think. Yeah, after the next level, we should have enough to get them to level 3, maybe a little bit more. So... We are now up to Queen of the Hill. This level is not too bad. Maybe a little bit um, long for my likings, but uh, it's, it's all the same. So, we're going to pick Mortars this time. They worked good for me last time that I uh, beat this on Insane in my practicing. So, quickly, let's dig out to that because we need some A number of small food. Formica, Rufa, and Fusca colonies have established themselves on this beach. Those nearest to the water's edge have enjoyed the first pick of the washed up seafood for the past few days. However, as the sun and moon near alignment and the first spring tide of the month approaches, high tide draws nearer to these intrepid ants. Seemingly aware of their circumstances, these colonies are preparing to relocate to higher ground. There is only one way up the bank, and the route is currently occupied by a small roofer colony. These defenders will have to hold their ground against the oncoming siege. It will be three days before the high tide washes away the competition. If the colony survives, it will inherit the beach. But this won't be an easy fight. Alright. Cool, so this one is a little bit rough. It's definitely a bit rough, to be honest. Uh, the music seems a tiny bit loud, so one sec. Cool. Yeah, so we want to come up here, dig out some kind of weird food hole shape, and we want to dig up there. So goal one, get as many, uh, what are they called, workers as we can. Cleaning that up. Although the nests nearer the water have better access to the food washed up by no, the sea, this roofer colony need not starve. The plant life growing nearby is home to herds of grey aphids. As they feed on plant sap, these tiny insects excrete droplets of honeydew, which the wood ants find irresistible. They need only protect the aphids from danger to receive a constant supply of sugary liquid. Doing so is not always simple, however. Hungry ladybird beetles know exactly where the aphids like to graze. They can strip an unguarded stem bare in a mere matter of minutes. The ants will need to keep a close watch over their flock. Yep, that they will. So we're going to get out there and get as much food as we can. Uh, we're going to need some form of attacking. Let's turn attack off though. Because like, workers ain't going to do squat to ladybugs to be honest. Uh, let's 
Increase food holding. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Alright. Got some decent numbers coming out now. Let's start cleaning up some of that food. Let's look at upgrading our food storage. I always probably go way too heavy with building food storage, but I hate having to think about it. Don't care, don't care. Get some waters going. The workers have done all they can to improve Get these food stores. Come on, grab that last piece of tent. Yeah, let's come over here. There's a ton of it there, let's grab that. Let's get you guys going. So unfortunately, we're going to have to uh, sacrifice these dudes at night. We're never going to be able to save them. We just uh, ain't going to have the ant power. Uh, let's upgrade. And let's dig that out actually. I think that might be more. More beneficial. Wish we could go down here and get some of these delicious fish, though. The AI gets to smash down. A party of Formica Fusca black ants are heading Oop. inland. Everybody, the high ground inside. for colony must defend their territory. Nope, 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 nope. We're cowards and we fight from the inside. And their attack the back on has begun. Right. Attack back off for a second. Uh, more melee, not melee ranged. I, I said. Try and score as much food as we can. So we should get attacked by the other group in a second. Yes, no. Ah, there it is. Right, everyone back. Don't worry about it. The roofer colony on the low ground are sending troops to clear a path for their queen. The high ground colony must keep them at bay. Yeah, we got that. So once they attack. See, let's look at the ants must defend themselves. We should be good. Definitely gonna take some losses, but we should be okay there. That's why we're getting smashed. Go over that side first. Oh, what an idiot. I can't believe I didn't even notice their attack was off. Don't attack, just get food. Right, as soon as bad things start coming out, we're going back inside and we're going to start clearing out all of this. Judging by the sound of the music, the lower ground colonies have relented their siege for now. Is now. Night approaches, and with it, it brings a host of nocturnal predators out onto the beach. The high ground ants could go underground to wait out the night, but they would have to leave their precious aphids unguarded. It is a difficult choice for this colony. Face the peril out in the open, or hide away and risk losing their only reliable source of food. 
not that much of a hard choice, to be honest. It's not a great choice, but it is the choice that we have. Right, so we cleared that out. Happy days. Cleared that out. Uh, tell you what, just go there for a second. Get that. It's annoying me. Uh, don't really want to go there. Uh, let's go down here. Pretty sure that this is actually not too bad. So I think that's bad, but I don't think they break into each other, you know what I mean? So we'll go there, get that, because we definitely are going to need uh, high level mortars. Predators are loose in the nest. What have we got? The larvae must be protected. Yep, uh, we got that. That should be okay. Yep, cool. Clean that up. That's good. Level that up. Well, we'll do that while we're here. Uh, yeah, so that's three large enemies we're not about we're not about taking that on uh, I think that's one large enemy yeah not too sure but we're going this way upgrade that we want to hopefully get um predators are loose in the nest the larvae must be protected. I want to get as many uh, level threes mortars as we can. That is a huge, uh, huge difference for us if we can do that. Okay, get that. Every second one, so then we can get the inner ring. Uh, let's dig that out while we're doing it because they look like they're small scrubs so that'll be no worries then we'll head down here clear these two out clear that out uh, somehow get over there there are intruders in the nest Smash that. Smash that out, to be honest, as well. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must Come on. be protected. Get them. So, like, everything out here is just like complete chaos. We don't want none of that noise. Clear all that food out. Clear that food out. Don't think that'll break into there, but if it does, oh well, so be it. Alright, cool. Level that up. Take that on. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Right, cool. Now that we've got the mortars, that delicious splash damage will end them. Uh, get that. Damn it! Almost enough. through this way yeah we've got all that let's 
still going, so that's pretty good. I need speed tar. That's what I'm missing. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Kinda wish that they weren't getting so close, but what can you do? Dawn guys breaks, stop. and the battle for the high ground will soon continue. Many aphids were eaten in the night. Yeah, the high is. ground colony must ration their food carefully. Nah, it's probably lucky we got some level threes there. Let's take out a little pile of that. You guys turn your food back on. Wait for some aphids to start spawning and we'll try and defend them. The Fusca colony is sending a wave of warriors to clear a path for their queen. Yeah, probably. I wanna just get like a little actually. The ants must fight. Yeah, it's not so bad now that we got the uh, the mortars doing their AOE damage. Uh, you guys come down there and go get that. In comes the next wave of wood ants. The colony are sending another yep, assault. We're good. They are desperate to reach higher ground. Those two are going to dig through there, break them out, they'll slowly plonk their way this way. We should annihilate whatever this is. The ants must fight. Look at those health bars just like disappearing. The must be protected. Don't dig that up, because I don't want to just keep wasting dudes there. You guys this way. what we want. You like run down there, grab some delicious, nutritious... What are these? This is like weird shrimp looking thing. Sea lice? Or whatever they are. Uh, have we got... that. That. More black ants are emerging from the Fusca nest. Yeah, that they are. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, twos, go keep getting that food. I don't know why you guys went up there. The ants must defend themselves. Yep. So I think I need to leave you guys like that, leave you guys about there. Separate you a little bit. More soldiers are emerging from the roofer nest. And they are going to be destroyed. Although they did a good, a good bit of damage to us because they're not ignoring them and hitting the more important targets. Alright. Everyone down here. Just dig that whole bloody thing out. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Yeah, predators were loose in the nest. Melt them down. They got close though. 
give them that. They did a good job. Right, that's not too bad. We did good there. Night falls, and a temporary truce emerges between the warring colonies. Once again, the high ground wood ants must make a choice. Do they defend the aphids, or will they hide, resting their forces until the morning? All right, so we're gonna... Uh, maybe not just yet. Well, we're going there. Uh, actually, I do want... The ants must defend themselves. Turn your food off just for a minute. Bad. We'll take that. Smash them. Alright, cool. So now our current goal is it's going to be tons of this going on. That would be nice to go take. We probably could take that. But here comes our own chair. bug. Uh, here we want a bit more of that going on. Uh, let's quickly run over here. I'd rather lose the aphids. It's like each one of them is what? 15 food, there's another 300 food, there's loads of food. Swarm over there. I gotta admit, it's a little bit. It's a lot. It's a lot risky doing it this way. It's not just a little bit risky, it's quite risky. But. And I don't intend on defending the two, I just want to come in and take the tons of tons of bugs. Uh, go on, kill them. And we're gonna go back the other way in a sec. What's that coming out? Grubs. It's not the worst. Not the, not the best thing. Uh, actually, you know, I'm just going to turn your attack back on for a minute. That's what I wanted. Hermit crabs. Uh, turn your attack off to bring you over there. That makes more sense. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if mortars or range do better against hermit crabs, to be honest. Hard to say. Hard to say. Eh. Yeah. Alright, now I'll probably just stick with... Oh. Ah, the hell with it. Let's upgrade. They're all done. Uh... Get the food going up. 
food is very important. We want lots and lots of food. Yes, I know food stores are full. We're trying to fix that. The workers have done all they can to improve these food stores. Uh, let's look at increasing their longevity. Because, yeah, they'll be a. Uh, I kind of want to start pulling them back once we get like high levels of them, and we'll just sit in there in the um, what you call it in the in the nest. No more bugs over here. That's quite disappointing. Hell with it. Cheap food. Let's go get it. The battle for the high ground will soon continue. Many aphids were eaten in the night. Yeah, the they high were. ground colony must ration their food carefully. Well, seeing as we're here, we're going to defend this one. More black ants are emerging from the Fusca nest. Uh, whatever. You guys aren't going to be that that game breaking. Actually, that's probably a better way to do it. I want that gone. I want your food gathering off. Just because they do way more damage. Gonna assume we're about to get attacked by them. Yep, there we go. More soldiers are emerging from the roof of nest. It's all good, it's all good. We got this, we got this. Happy days. I love watching these chunks of health bars just whoop, gone. And that's them wrecked. And I think they both come to hassle me out in a second, but it's all good. We can do it. Stupid ladybugs, ain't no more bloody aphids. Uh, you guys coming yet? Yep, yep, there we go. Ooh, Both crud. lower ground colonies are now sending out armies at the same time. We should outrun that? Yep, mostly. Sacrifice couple, it's all good. Absolutely melting them. Too bloody hard to see what's going on. Ah, how's that done? Get out of it. It's mine. Right, let's change that back around. I don't think I was supposed to kill them that quick, but we did. 
Uh, unless they had to... Oh, shit, they do. Black ants and wood ants are heading from their nests to the high ground. What have we lost? Lost? A little bit of everything. And they're going to get destroyed as per usual. Definitely using, losing a few units, but it's not so bad. Uh, actually, let's make like a little, little group to assist the queen. And let's do a bit of that. Damn, should have gone over there. It's way better. Get out of it. Try to save me, damn aphids. Whatever, we'll hold off over here. Night falls and a temporary truce emerges between the warring colonies. Once again, the high ground wood ants must make a choice. Do they defend the aphids, or will they hide, resting their forces until the morning? Uh, I don't know how well we're gonna defend the aphids, but we definitely ain't gonna be hiding. Well, let's go say hello to that. So that's about 150 food, I think. And there's more. There's just a billion ladybugs everywhere. Uh, is it worth? Guys, done. Let's drop a speed tile there. That's what I was doing over here. Get some speed tiles going out. I'll clear that up. Uh, I suppose we'll clear that up before we head back over. Looks like there's all sorts of good things. Definitely want three hermit crabs and them. Holy shit, two, three, four, six of them. That'll be a bit of fun. Let's go say hello. Let's maybe not charge directly in though. Get real close to your tunnels. I've always got a bit nervous about that. Alright, let's do a thing. Workers have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. So they last more than five seconds. Ooh. It's going to be closed before that nah, reinforcements came. That's what we want. Back over there, go get some food, recoup our losses. Can you not, Mr. Hermit Crab? Uh, is it worth going back over? It most certainly will be. Well, once we collect all the food here, anyway. Clean that up. Make sure the two stay protected. 
Um, yeah. Let's upgrade these guys. Get some level 3, uh, workers going too, I reckon. Tons, but just a few, I think. Really help uh, the old food gathering cause. Tell you what, let's just get everything on food. Let's just do that. I think in the long run it will work just as good. All good. These guys are getting there. So you guys move a bit faster across the base when I need you to. Well, I don't know if we'll be heading back over there anytime soon, but. Should be a nice influx of food, and we're not going to get over there. Oh well, such is life. Last night's high tide was dangerously close to the low ground nests. Today is their last chance to relocate. The ants must prepare for their final battle. Yep. Many but aphids were eaten in the that. night. Food will be scarce. Well, this is basically going to come down to a case of let's hide in the hole. Nope. There. Oh, I'd be so mad if I moved them there and didn't notice that they, uh... Alright, so we're going to... Drop some speed tiles here. The have done all they can to improve these food stores. Level them all up. I don't know if this actually makes them attack faster or anything, but I like to think it does. A large black ant force has been sent from the Fusca nest. The workers have done all they can to improve this highway. Yeah, yeah, sure they have. But having my ants been able to zip around like crack addicts will surely help. Well, I would think, anyway. Alright, so they're about to come in, get absolutely annihilated. Yep. Kill. Then we should have... See, look, you'd never be able to defend your aphid nests now. I left you guys with nothing. Suck it. <laughs> No food for you guys. Alright. The wood ants are on the move. Look at you guys. More Crap. Ants are heading Wasting so the much fish. Colony. To be honest, they're probably more dangerous than the black ants, but... They're still not that much of a problem. Look at the that. ants must fight. Absolute dead. Now you can see our food doesn't tick down too much. I think we lost like five or six ants there. 
Um, do you guys attack the ladybugs? Oh, you do. Could have helped me out with them before. Just saying. Texture cuts into their nest. Is the door to mine? No. Oh, there's a big both group. Both lower ground colonies are now sending out armies at the same time. Uh, they're both sending out huge groups. What the hell are you guys attacking? Ah, oh, ladybugs. And let's see, they get absolutely disintegrated. I think there's only one more wave, so that'll be pretty good. Yeah, everything else is off the beach, so there's one more wave, and we'll just kind of wait for that to happen. Okay, they're coming the for us. They're sending over. in their queen. The low ground is already starting to flood. The lower ground nests are emptying completely, and the ants are rushing up the bank. Well, this is their final assault. You're not wrong about that, buddy. The battle has begun. Well, it's not much of a battle, it's just... It's kind of more of just a slaughter. Oh look, you can stun their queens, I forgot about that. Well... I give them credit where credit's due. They did wipe out my first wave of uh, melee ants. Funny how you can eat a queen ant, but you can't eat a normal ant. Weird. Alright, go get that. You guys go get that. You know the old saying, most not, one not. Even if it's game over. I'm gonna go take me some food. It's all about that score bonus. The wood ants upon the hill have finally defeated their would-be successors. Tomorrow their empire will expand to the undefended intertidal flats below, commanding both the aphid farms and the bounty of the sea. This colony will rise to become an undeniable power in the undergrowth. Damn straight. We are the only power in the undergrowth now. Uh. As per usual, delicious raw jellies, and we will have that uh, end level. Fair enough. I probably could have got that way higher, but eh. Now, what do the mad scientists have to say? How is the colony progressing? The queen is Ooh. exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. I like our termite looking colours though. Yeah, no. Nah. Alright. Well, I'm going to gather this up and maybe maybe get a little bit more food so we can upgrade some things and then just sweep through the next uh, formicarium challenge. It's not like it would be any different to the last time we did it, because I think last time I played it on Insane 2, just because I knew you couldn't replay them. But yeah, so that's going to be it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed, please feel free to give us a like, or even consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, everything really helps us out as a uh, creator. And yeah, have a good one, guys. Laters.